today we will be displaying colorful bitmaps on a TFT display like this one. The process would look more or less like this. If you want to see how this is done, stick around. To display a bitmap on this small screen, my initial idea was to use an SD card module to read the image file byte by byte, or rather two bytes at a time, since the RGB565 format uses 16 bits to represent a single color pixel. The microcontroller reads these bytes from the SD card over the SPI interface and then sends them over SPI to the screen. For example, two bytes representing green in RGB565 format will result in a single green pixel being shown when received. However, due to design issues with the display module, specifically the lack of chip select pin, it's not feasible to have this SPI display work alongside other SPI devices, like SD card reader, without complicated tweaks. Additionally, the SD card reader operates at a different voltage level. I plan to revisit this once I purchase another display with a chip select pin and the SD card reader that operates at 3 volt logic, as my current only works with 5 volts. So what options are left? The only visible method I found to send the bitmap to the display is through serial communication. Essentially, this involves having an image on a PC and sending it to the microcontroller via the serial interface. The microcontroller sketch can detect incoming data, read it byte by byte and output the pixel color represented by every two bytes to the appropriate place on the screen. In this scenario we are left with just two components to connect. Here is the ESP board. We are connecting ground and VCC first, then the clock goes to pin D5. On ESP, SDA goes to D7, reset goes to D2, DC goes to D1. And, as stated before, the backlight goes to the 3.3V pin. Here is our device for displaying bitmaps. To make this work, we need a serial terminal application. Although the Arduino IDE includes a serial monitor, it is not suitable for this project. We need an application that allows us to drag and drop the image to start the transfer, a feature that serial monitor does not offer. So I looked for an alternative and found an application called CoolTerm that seemed perfect for my needs. You can google it and find the download link. The installation was straightforward. Let's open CoolTerm. Before we can use it, let's go to options to configure the connection. When the microcontroller is not connected, no ports are available. However, when I plug it in, as indicated by the sound, the microcontroller's port appear in the options. There are a few more settings we need to adjust. The baud rate commonly used with Arduino is 9600, but let's increase it to speed up the transmission. It is crucial that the same baud rate is set both here and in Arduino sketch. Additionally, to avoid unwanted garbage data during transmission, I found that these two options need to be turned off to establish a clean connection. As you can see, I can now connect to the microcontroller without any unwanted data noise. Currently, the microcontroller has a blank sketch loaded. Let's create a super simple sketch to test if cool term works and can receive data from Arduino. In this sketch, we'll initiate serial communication with the required bound rate and send simple text at 3 second intervals over the serial interface. Let's load the sketch. Done. Let's reconnect. You can see that every 3 seconds CoolTerm receives text from Arduino sketch. It's time to work on the image that we'll send to the display. I won't be using pre-edited photograph for this project. Many tutorials don't explain how to reformat the picture to the format required by this display. So I will walk you through the process. Let's find something to photograph. Oh, there is my dog Ernie. Zostaw. 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 Perfect. I love this dog. Now let's open the photo in paint. Select the square area with Ernie in the middle and trim it. Now we need to scale this picture down as it's too big. How about reducing it to 45% of the original size? 
That looks close enough. Finally, let's adjust the size to exactly 240 by 240 pixels. Let's save this image into the 24-bit bitmap format. The file still isn't in the right format, which needs to be RGB565. Converting picture to this format isn't straightforward. I tried several online tools and downloaded few programs, but none worked. I was getting desperate and eventually turned to ChatGPT. It provided several recommendations for online and downloadable software, but they didn't work either. Finally, ChatGPT wrote a Python code for me that did the conversion. Initially, the color mapping was off, but after a few iterations of converting images with solid red, green and blue backgrounds, I got it right. I placed this code in the same directory as the image. Here it is. But I won't explain it in detail, since I am not a Python expert and didn't write it myself. To execute it, we need to open the Windows command prompt and check if Python is installed. It is. So let's navigate to the directory where the bitmap, image and Python code are stored. Now we can execute the program with the following syntax. Type Python, then the name of the ChatGPT program, and then the name of the bitmap file we want to convert. Press Enter. And as you can see, a new file is created in this directory. With an image in the correct format, we can now write an Arduino program to receive that image over the serial interface and display it on a TFT screen. First, we declare the necessary libraries to interface with the display. Then specify the connected pins and initialize the module. Next, we set the display dimensions. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication with the same baud rate as used in the terminal application. We initialize the display, set the rotation and clear it. And we check for any pending data on the serial interface to ensure the image transfer starts with no preceding data. In the loop function, we define two variables that will store the x and y coordinates of the current pixel. We continuously check for at least two bytes available on the serial interface. If available, we read these two bytes, high and low, to form a 16-bit color value in RGB565 format. We draw this color as a pixel at the current XY position on a TFT display. Then we increment the X coordinate to move to the next pixel in the current row. If the end of the row is reached, we reset X coordinate back to zero and increment Y coordinate to the next line of pixels. If the end of the image is reached, we wait for 10 seconds and then reset the Y coordinate to zero, clear the screen and we are ready to send and display another image. Let's load this sketch to microcontroller. After this is done, the microcontroller will be ready to receive serial data. Let's go back to the CoolTerm application we are still seeing results from the previous sketch, so let's clear it. Let's connect it to the microcontroller. Now we can drag and drop the generated image into that terminal application. With this, transmission of a serial interface is initiated. There, you can see the transmission progress bar as the image appears on the screen pixel by pixel, line by line. Let's take another look at this up close. Let's wait 10 seconds. After that time, the screen will be cleared and then we can start sending next image. It's time to wrap up this video. If you enjoy this video, give it thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Click the bell button to stay notified about my latest uploads. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.